but against Shawn Michaels, you can never really tell. Whoa! John was just celebrating that nice counter move that he made, and he finds himself out of the concrete again. See, now that's an added advantage, Alfred. Right there. To have one, somebody outside the ring who's big enough and strong enough to literally pick you up off the canvas and get you back in the ring. Yes, yeah, she, she's certainly not big enough and strong enough. She can either lift you up or drop you as well if she likes. She'll drop you with a right hand. Oh, man. You're ugly, boy. Oh, my jaw. Oh, my jaw. He's on, he's on. He's worried about his nose and his jaw. Jerry telling him he's all right. Well, he's certainly letting Balaki overcome him here because it's uh, breaking down his, his defenses, his uh, awareness of what is happening. Tornado uh, taking his life in his hands there, going outside the ring after Sean because you know when you do that, it's a tongue of war now between the tornado and Sherry and Sherry won, but she lost. Oh, yes, she did indeed. She went down like a ton of bricks. She did, but I think finally Michaels is so angry now. I think he's going to cast aside all that vanity, and I think he's going to get inside the ring now and take care of Texas Tornado. And if he doesn't, he's in definite danger of losing this match. He's got to do something at this point. Well, he better start thinking about wrestling here and stop worrying about looking in that mirror or he won't be the number one challenger. Brought that foot up just in time to buy him a little time here. Well, that is his first offensive move. And it really uh, says a lot for itself because it had to be a kick rather than a wrestling maneuver to put Texas Tornado down. You no, know, but he only needs one or two chances, I think. Because once he... Oh, look at that. A right by the feline from the outside. She's not above putting the boots to you either. No, the femme fatale took a hand in this. And she has actually leveled the scales a little more here. Not completely, but... Oh, oh shot. what a nice reverse thrust kick by Shawn Michaels. I thought he made a mistake there, put his head down, but it was just enough time to let Tornado go over the top, and then, and then look at look at him waste time here, Alfred. He had to do something like that to bring this bout around before everything was going against him. He could see that number one rating just slipping away only moments ago, and right now it's in jeopardy again as the Tornado has come back to life. You're not going to beat him that way. Oh. oh! He got a handful that time. Look out! Turned around and slapped the claw right on the forehead of Shawn Michaels. And Michaels desperately trying to get out of the ring to get out of the grasp of that claw. Boy, has he got it slammed down there. He certainly has, Gorilla. Look at this. Shawn Michaels trying to maneuver himself into another situation where he's oh, From the outside, Sherry with her input there. The input is grilled. The Texas Tornado right out of the ring as well. Now both men down and the mirror broken. And I believe that Shawn Michaels has been busted wide open. Well, he went face first into that mirror. And look at this. Sherry is pushing him back in. And I don't think Tornado... Well, he may make it. Referee was laying a double count out. We'll find out what went down right now. Result of a count out. Sean Michael. I thought the referee was over and was going to raise the hand. He was just checking to see whether the tornado was all right. Getting the victory here in Cornwall. He's Sean Michael, but he just certainly doesn't look like a winner, does he? He certainly does, and he got cut to pieces there as he went down. And he had really had a rough passage to earn this victory. What happened, Hulk Hogan? You're not a world champion anymore, but I am. And I'll tell you another thing to Hulk Hogan. 
and not just the world champion, but all the Orcomaniacs left you, and they're all in my corner now. And Orc Hogan, when I come and WrestleMania 4 to meet you again, Orcomania will die forever. You know, Andre, I haven't changed a bit, man. I'm the same guy I was before you dudes robbed the belt. I've got all this, brother. I've got this. And I've got all of my Orcomaniacs, brother. But one thing has changed, man. We don't place much value on materialistic things. But since you stole the bond of the prayers, the training, and the vitamins, the symbolic belt that unites me and all my Hulkamaniacs, the third time is a charm, brother. I'm going to prove in front of the whole world that I can beat you for a one, two, three. Because the simple facts are the largest back in the world has never been pinned for a three count. Ladies and gentlemen, his Intercontinental Championship against the barber, Brutus Beefcake. You know, when you talk about the Honky Tonk Man, you've got to say, he is the greatest Intercontinental Champion of all time! This will be a test of that comment indeed in WrestleMania 4. It won't be a test, it won't be anything, because it's like Jimmy Hart said, I'm the greatest Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion of all time! And Brutus, the barber Beefcake, you are nothing, you are nobody! You're not a barber, you're not a wrestler, and when I look in your eyes, I can see, big boy, that you're a little bit tough. You're not all right. But Whoa, don't let me claim my package, yeah, because I sing, I dance, and I play the guitar. Whoa, baby. Hey, this is hot. I think interview. you are nothing, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. You're not a wrestler, and you've got to wrestle me for this belt. I said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm not afraid of your scissors because you're not going to take a little bit off the top, maybe some off the side. Yeah, go ahead, turn around, get on, walk out of here. When I finish with you, I shake, rattle, and roll you, barber. You will always be nothing. I'm going to finish you off for good. Whoa, wait a minute. WrestleMania 4. For more, the Rougeau Brothers with an invitation to the Big Battle Royal. You know Atlantic City, the city you could bet. Well, you could bet your bottom dollar we're going there to win. Yeah. Man, yeah, Mick Benson, baby, there's gonna be 20 people in the ring. And you know something? The big outlaw, he shines because I like to fight. I like to throw people out. And you better believe on WrestleMania 4, that's why me and Miss Benson do it. We're gonna throw him here, we're gonna throw him out, and we'll be the last one standing. Battle Royal, this is not gonna be no Battle Royal. This is a Harlem picnic, Harlem barbecue style, and I'm gonna bring my reign of terror to the ring. The king, I'll show you why I'm called the king. When I walk into the Battle Royal, I'll walk in as king. And when I leave, I will be the last, that king. That king will prevail in the Battle Royal. You know, in a Battle Royal, you've got to have a lot of guts. But at the Heart Foundation, we've got something more than everyone else got. <laughs> we've got a lot of heart. Something we all pride ourselves on. Top of the class. <laughs> This is it. We finally did it. WrestleMania 4. The Young Stallions are going to be there. We're going to give it all we got. That's right. WrestleMania 4. We're going to be galloping right through, right to the top. She was looking great, and she just can't wait to get to WrestleMania 4. That's right. And Matilda enjoys it because that's the kind of match <laughs> she can sink her teeth into. <laughs> this doesn't smell right to me. Something smells funny to me out there. Everybody's talking about Matilda's bigger. She's stronger. Everybody's talking about her bite. I want to know what's going on here, and I want to know what's going on now. Do those three goofs want to wrestle, or do they want to talk about biting people, tearing people apart? The last thing that dog's going to do is take me out by the beach there and bury me in the sand. You want me to sick something on you? I'll sick something on you. I'll sick these islanders on you. You want to know what a bite's all about? I'll show you what a bite's all about. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would like you to help me in joining my guest. He is the Macho Man, Randy Savage.
is one of the 14 contenders in the exciting championship elimination tournament in WrestleMania 4. Now, of course, this tournament will result in the declaration of a World Wrestling Federation champion. But the winner, of course, the one who emerges victorious, will have to do something that no other World Wrestling Federation wrestler has ever done, and that is to win consecutively within a very short period of time. For you personally, that means not one, not two, not three, but in fact, four wins to become...